come from certain parts of America in a city that has nothing handed to it. A city with strong roots with nothing blossoming. You learn at a very young age you control your own destiny. You come from an area where the history is the backbone of the city. Struggling to get back on its feet after financial meltdowns in the city's past. A city trying to let go of what it once was and find its new identity. It's no secret. A city where the past 30 years is decreasing in population. So I got a question for you. What's a town like this supposed to do in the meantime? Huh? What do you tell the next generation what to be proud of? As a person that was raised here, I'll tell you. You tell them to put your family first, because at the end of the day, it'll only make you stronger. While other districts around you will think very little of what you could become, you believe in a school system that'll never give up on your dream, any child's dream, no matter what they come from. You believe that a boy from these streets can do whatever he puts his mind to. A boy can be taught here, learn discipline and fundamentals here, practice here, be a kid here, become a man here, and become a G-man here. Manning, end zone, Manningham for the touchdown. February 5th, Super Bowl Sunday. It doesn't matter what team you're rooting for. Because when you see that number 82 and 27 on the field, Warren, Ohio, you make some noise. Because to the city that has never been handed anything, we get our chance to witness with pride what our roots can grow into. It's not every day a city with nothing going for it gets a chance to raise a child to compete in the biggest sporting event of all time. This Sunday, is our Warren, Ohio. We were there. We were there when McDaniel showed them what they could become. We were there for the big games at Mollenkopf. This Sunday, Warren, Ohio, we stand as one and simply lose ourselves.